So I had absolutely no idea what to expect when I started crossing Void. All I knew was that the image used for the game was that of Kirito, or someone that looked kind of eerily reminiscent of Kirito. Then I jumped into the game and was greeted by the main girls from the Railgun anime, yeah, Mikoto and Kuroko. I figured, you know what, oh, okay, cool. This is an adaptation of the a certain scientific railgun anime, cool. After which I was then greeted by characters from Durarara, Axel World, Sword Art Online, Toradora, Shakugan no Shana, and I finally knew at that point what this game was. It was an amalgamation of a plethora of different anime all condensed into a single RPG. And that is an interesting concept to me. From what I could tell, Crossing Void is a story-driven chapter-based RPG. Pretty much every single chapter is intertwined in some form of story. There are various stages per chapter, and each chapter seems to follow a different selection of characters. I don't really understand the premise of the story, there are different worlds, different realities, and each of the characters from their respective worlds are gathered together to like save the world or something, save their world, save all of the worlds. I don't know, I'm a little fuzzy on the specifics, honestly, but holy crap, there are a lot of characters. I'm not sure exactly how many there are that you can recruit, but I did notice that heroes are locked behind a more difficult paywall than normal. I couldn't even really summon any free heroes to play with and was stuck with the basics of what was provided to me. The one hero I did unlock was Asuna, and unfortunately, I could not use her. This is due to the combat system. See, each hero can be paired up with another hero acting essentially as support. This means that to fully utilize a character and their abilities, you're required to have the corresponding hero associated with them, and I'm guessing here that Asuna's is Kirito? So unless I have Kirito with me as well, my Asuna will not only be lacking in her abilities, but also be completely unable to maximize her potential. And then this goes ahead and leads me to the combat aspect of the game. Crossing Void utilizes a turn-based combat system. You select your ability, the enemy selects theirs, and you cycle through set attacks until your next turn. You have a variety of different abilities you can learn and upgrade, and each hero seems to have their own skills specific to the anime that they're from. While I never really got to play as anyone other than the girls supplied to me, I did get to fight a variety of different characters and got to see their abilities and combos in action. Ultimately, I spent a few hours straight recording Crossing Void. I felt it was very limiting on who I could use in combat, which is disappointing as I typically like to deploy a group of hot waifus regardless of their stats and abilities. I also felt that while there was a lot of story, it didn't really do much in terms of explaining the story. Rather, it explained what the characters were doing presently as opposed to why they were there or what our goals were. You know what? The game looks pretty solid. The animation for some of the characters did look a little bit off, but otherwise this is an enjoyable adaptation that allows you to play with all your favorite characters from their respective anime. But you know what, this is my opinion, my first impressions of the game. What do you guys think though? Does this look like something you'd be interested in? Let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Whoops. Man, I swear to God, if this microphone lasts the next several months, it's gonna be a miracle. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, all hard work's gonna be worth it. Ooh.